it's a countdown of the most wonderful time of year at Balsa Circle, the holidays. Today we're going to be going over how to put together this mermaid Christmas tree. It's got a beautiful ombre look and this will fit into any kind of little girl's room or any nook of a Disney or mermaid fan for sure. So basically with this starting look we're going to be using a stand, garlands, ornaments, sequin runner, matte blue spray, and an artificial Christmas tree. So as our base of course we're picking kind of like a very dainty small artificial tree and what we did is we turned it upside down we took some of that matte blue spray make sure you get kind of like an aqua blue or turquoise but aqua blue for sure and created more of a dense spray on the bottom and just tapered off as we went towards the top leaving the top of the tree nice and white so that is how you get a really easy ombre look here we're going to show you how to put together and create these cute diy ornaments now we're using these petite seashells that we have and you can find everything in the description below so here we're just starting off with our tool here that's bedazzled it's got some sparkle action on there and we're doing two little square of each I would say about two and a half three inches each and then you're going to just put a dollop of hot glue on the bottom pair them up kind of scrunch it up and then you're going to press it in the inside just be careful because it is tool the glue can seep through so just be, be wise with your fingers there and on the top now we kind of switched it up with all of our ornaments you'll see at the very end that we used purples we used greens you can go to town definitely with all the different tool that you can use here we're using large 20 millimeter faux pearl beads and those come in different colors as well they come in white kind of a, a charcoal silver yellow and green once that's done you're going to go to town and bedazzle the inside and it is important because you are going to see the inside we're going to show you how we're going to do a little trick here basically we're just cutting it i would say less than an inch high cutting it in half and we are using our 3 8 inch organza ribbon here and the reason why is because it's more see-through and we don't want this to be you know sticking out we're putting a dollop of glue on the bottom and on the top and the point of this is to keep the shell kind of cracked open so you can see the funness inside and not having it kind of full on open as it's on the tree and it just doesn't look nicely placed. So here we're taking that same kind of satin edge organza ribbon and you're creating a nice little bow. Now if you already have pre-made bows, go girlfriend, just use that. But if you don't, we wanna show you that it's easy to make these bows. You obviously wanna use hot glue. You could use glue dots, however, the hot glue is gonna keep it more into place. So here, once that ribbon is done, then you're going to put that little petite ribbon on the edge of the shell and then you're going to take the multicolored rhinestones there rhinestone stickers so there you go once that's done basically here we are this is an important part you're going to take some of your turquoise wire no it doesn't have to be turquoise but you know hey we want to stay in the theme of a uh, of little mermaid here and you're going to bring it around the chopstick a couple times on both sides. Then you're gonna marry them together and put up rhinestone in the middle. This is very important. You don't wanna just use any kind of hook here because we talked to actually we asked an engineer for this yes we took the the big brains the big dogs for this we wanted to display it on the tree so the inside would show outward as you looked at the tree and it wouldn't droop so this was the best way to um you know kind of trick gravity and allow it to nicely lay on the tree there or balance on each branch so as you can see we wanted to show you all the multicolors that we use Used, and also how they all look together. I think this is super cute. These are actually used, these cute little shells are used for little, little girls parties too. So you can use them in uh, many, many ways. So here we're basically using our white beaded faux pearl garland and some shells that you have already. I mean, maybe you don't have them, you can get them at a craft store, but I would go for the small and medium shells for sure. If you wanna use them after you know Christmas, you can take them off. The hot glue will obviously harden and it's really easy to remove from 
this garland here. But the reason why I say medium to small is because you don't want to weigh it down too much. This is a very kind of delicate tree, so you want to keep everything a little bit on the minier side. So as you can see, we kind of made a part in between each of them, I would say about five inches or so. And then we brought it all the way around the tree, so it looked like it was covered with shells. We also used some bigger shells to balance on the tree. We used some of our starfish or bigger shells on the bottom. We also covered the bottom of the tree with our Serenity Blue Sequin Runner, which is absolutely gorgeous. It like matched perfectly with our um, spray, that ombre look on the actual tree. So there you go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this whole look. We certainly did. And if you did, make sure you like this video and also subscribe by joining us twice a week for all of your creative decor, DIY gift and party ideas for the holidays. Until next time, stay creative.